Hello everybody, this is Taylor Moss from Everything Under the Sun. I'm going to show you guys how to do some reflective text in Photoshop. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is go to control, uh, File New and make a new file. I'm just going to call this one Reflection. Uh, name it, or I'm going to have it be 1920 by 1080 pixels so it can be in the background when I'm done. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is make a new layer and uh, get your text out and uh, just type something. So, oh color is white so I'm gonna change that to a nice orange alright so now that you have that type in whatever you'd like uh, click that checkbox up there to OK uh, click the move tool and you can center it down in the middle uh, next you'll need to right click and go to rasterize type to change it from text to a layer then while this layer is still selected uh, compre press control J and that would duplicate it then you can uh, move this down and you can use the arrow keys to fine tune move it uh, next go to edit uh, transform flip vertically uh, next what a lot of people do is uh, go up to edit transform perspective and just change the perspective just a tad by clicking and dragging on those end arrows next thing you want to do instead of using a mask like probably most tutorials use I would suggest clicking and holding this and going to the magic wand tool holding down shift and left clicking on each of these letters the reason I do it this way is because of the mask you cannot stack gradients so you have to use only one shot alright so next select your gradient uh, make sure up here that you have this one selected right here it's called foreground to transparent it's a default one built into photoshop and make sure by default your opacity is a hundred percent next click and always hold shift while you're doing gradient so it's perfectly level and do uh... probably two of those at a hundred percent so it definitely will fade to white then change it to uh... seventy five percent remember to hold shift every time you're applying these gradients to make it look a lot better and then do it till it looks really white like that and once you unselect you can see it's a nice reflection uh, if you want you could add a nice little black strip or something right there um, to show some sort of surface that the text is sitting on but basically that's all you have to do um, is just get your text flip it you can do the perspective if you want select all the letters individually and then add those gradients at those different levels and yeah that's basically it uh, thanks for watching